Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name's Lisa Cotter and today we're going through my complete coloured pencil collection. This video will be split into two parts as it is a rather long video. This will be part one. This is my only wooden boxed set of pencils. These are special to me. My husband purchased these for me. These are the Derwent Artist coloured pencils. Now, I can tell you now the smell of these pencils is incredible. Um, so they come boxed. And I got these for my birthday one year. So it comes like that. And all the trays are wood as well. Now they have these foam here to protect them. And... I don't use them a ton, mostly because I do have some other artist ones already in a case, but this set is just so beautiful. And the smell of this box, the wood, is just amazing. So that is tray one. And these were not cheap, I will admit that. They weren't cheap pencils. And this is tray two, all your blues and greens. And this is tray three, and that's all your browns going into greys and black. Now, they are the artist pencils, and I'll try and not crash this around, but they smell amazing, these pencils. Um, they are harder pencil. I have used them quite a bit. I do like them. Um, they are one of the first pencil sets I got years ago. Um, and I believe they are actually phasing out the wooden box. Um, so first off, we'll take a look. So this here, as you can see in the holder, there's this little holder part here, which is stuck down. And that holds your pencil snug so they don't move around um, in the box. Now, of course, being Derwent artists, they're really, um, they just feel nice in your hand. So it's green, it has England Derwent artists, and this one's the Pink Matter Lake, and it has 1700. The end is dipped with this silver around here. And it's easy to see the writing of this one. It is um, metallic gold writing, but this is pretty easy to see. Now we'll have a look at the swatch chart. So this is the swatch chart here. And here's the 120 colours. Really beautiful colours. They are a harder pencil though. So um, these were a gift from my husband and I do, I love them. Um, I love my Derwent pencils. And having them in the wooden box here, they are treasured and loved. <laughs> so I'll just put these all aside and then I'll grab some pencil cases. It won't be a second. Now here is my Prismacolors. Now this is a huge case. <clears throat> so this is my second set of Prismacolors. My first set, I have pretty much used them all up. I've only got a few left. I've got a few left from 10 years ago or more. Um, so this is my second set. I do have a spare set, which is still in its container. I'm not taking it out. <laughs> still there sitting on the shelf in case I use all these up. So this is one of my most used pencil sets is my Prismacolors. And it's just a huge range. So... Um, this is basically them here. As you can see, I've used quite a few of them until they're tiny. Um, and this is my second set. I do have some open stock ones at the end. And so that's them there. And all these beautiful colours. And as most people do know about Prismacolors, um, they're a beautiful set of pencils and I know they do have their issues and people complain about their quality, 
but I love them. And I haven't had as many break issues since using my Dull 133 pencil sharpener on them. So that there, and then you've got that there. And then this here is um, some of my open stocked and some of my very old ones that I got years ago. <laughs> and yes, it's been sharpened both ends, don't mind me. So these were really old and um, I got these 10 years ago, but I didn't use this one for colour pencil work. These actually were used for oaking um, my child dolls because the makeup you use Prismacolor mixed with a little bit of water um, they work really well so that's what that was so this is pretty much um, I've got quite a few open stock ones which I like to keep a few on me now um, but some of the, the little tiny pencils like this blue one I use quite a bit so recently I actually went and purchased um, some more so that's my tiny initial one I have I used to have them collected and they were like that big <laughs> but they're my prisma colors and I would replace them but these are my open stock and I won't run out anytime soon and I always keep a truck load of their white ones as well as the black but more white I actually perch. I've got six of these now, but I've used up four, I believe. So I need to get some more of those when I do my next art shop. But that is those. So this is actually swatched out. And as I said, these are one of my most used pencil. But these are the Prismacolor Premieres. And as you can see, this has pretty much the perfect colour schemes. Um, there's only one that I wish... Now, recently, you may have heard that these two colours here have been discontinued. So there is two new um, pencils coming out soon. Um, but I really wish they'd discontinue this one, which is 1040. It works terrible. They need to get rid of it. it does not work on paper. It goes ruddy and disgusting. They just need to get rid of it um, and add a different blue to that because this is pretty much one of my number one pencil sets that I use. I really love them. So that's the swatch chart to the Prismacolor Premieres. Now my next pencil set are the Prismacolor Verifins. Now, I purchased these last year because I wanted an oil-based pencil to go with my Prismacolors for more fine detail. And I decided to give these a go. Now, the first set of these I got, um, they arrived and they were really odd. I actually sharpened them and the lead came out. The whole lead, all in one bit. And this happened to most of the pencils, and I thought, that's really weird. Now, I knew Prismacolor um, things had gone downhill with them, but really, the whole lead coming out? So anyway, I sent them back, um, and they sent me a new set. So this set, so far, touch wood, they haven't fallen out. But I have to admit, I've only swatched them out. I haven't really used them. Um, I am planning to use these more for under colouring and also for fine detail with my Prismacolor. So let's have a look at them first. So this is the Verifin set. They are oil-based. They are hard. They are made in Mexico. It says Prismacolor Verifin. Um, has the colour name, the number, and the colour name there. So they are basically... Um, hexagon shaped and as you can see that is a little bit off center but touch wood I haven't had any breaks and none of the leads have fallen out so let's have a look at the swatch chart of these 
Um, so this is a swatch chart. I don't know, this is a huge swatch chart. I had planned to actually do the erasables, but I didn't do them because they're not sharpened. <laughs> so that's these, them. They're not bad. Um, but I definitely need to use them more. Now, these are the erasable. Now, you know, I haven't swatched them out. <laughs> and the whole reason for me buying them is I sketch with them. I don't actually use these as colour pencils. I actually sketch with one colour out of this full set. And it's the brown one. I think it could be this one. Is it? No, that's Tuscan Red. So the brown one, which is not in here, is the one I actually use for sketching in my Tone Tan book. And these are not sharpened. They come like this and they have the eraser on the end. You can erase... They are numbered and they are named. <laughs> but you can erase the point where it goes paler, but you can't fully erase. If you press hard, you will not be able to erase it. But they're not bad. Um, so there is a couple of sets there because you can no longer buy open stock with them. Um, that's pretty much how you buy them. And they these are not swatched. So these were the Verifins and the Prismacolor Erasables. So my next set of pencils are my Fabricastel Polychromos. This is the second set of pencils I ever got. So these are them there. Now, funny story with these. When I was a new colorist, I saw them everywhere. Sarah and A. Clark talked about them all the time and she even had a contest going um, for them. And I just decided to get a little set myself. Now, I couldn't afford of course, the big set, but I bidded on, um, I think it was a 36 set on eBay. And it was brand new, still with the plastic on, and I won it for $50. Well, after four weeks, it still hadn't arrived, and I'm thinking, oh gosh, what's going on? Um, so then I contacted the seller, and they said, that they'd been in a funeral and hadn't had a chance to send them. Now, this was a seller that 100% rating and they were a big op shop type um, store in Queensland, I believe. So then I'm thinking, oh no. So I get this tracking number and I put it into Australia Post and nothing comes up. And so after two weeks, they still hadn't arrived. I contacted eBay. And they said the tracking was a fake tracking. So they gave me my money back straight away. So then I used my money to actually purchase a 24 set. Um, and that set from an art shop never arrived. And I'm thinking, what's going on here? It got lost in the mail. So the actual, um, they sent me another set. So it took six weeks to finally get a 24 set of the polychromos. So over two years, I actually collected the full set of polychromos. There's a couple of colors I had to actually get because I'd gone through them um, or they'd gotten smaller. And then I think Karma works in a way. I won a full set of polychromos. So I'll never have to buy any again until I start running out again. And I can actually use these without feeling guilty that I won't be able to afford to replace them. So these are the full set of my Polychromos. And I am pretty proud of them because it took me two years to finally get the full set, to finally win a set as well. <laughs> so let's take a look at them here. So this is a swatch chart here. Now there is 120 in this set. And um, these are a beautiful set of pencils. They are definitely artist pencils. Now, if we look at a pencil here, so it says your Polychromos. So it's made in Germany by Fabricastel. And it has the actual name and the number with three stars here which is the light fast rating. And this is a light fast rating you can trust. But they are a beautiful set of pencils. They are harder, more of a layering pencil. 
Um, they're definitely one of my favourites. Now, I did get something extra with this set. Um, I'll just pause the video for a second and get that out. So that was the Fabric Estelle Polychromos. Now, this little set here, again, is the Polychromos. This is the Collector's Edition Little Tiny Tin. And I will not be using these. These were purchased more as a collector's item. Now, I got these for $7.95, which is pretty cheap. And this is how they used to look. And they come in this little adorable tin that has how it would have looked back in the time when these were originally released by A.W. Faber. And they're so cute. And they have the names of them here. I'm not sure about the cadmium hell. That sounds a bit bad there, doesn't it? <laughs> and then it has a pamphlet, which we'll have a look at in a minute. And then this is how they originally looked. Um, they're so cute. And I don't want to sharpen them to... Um, I haven't even taken them out. But let's have a look at how they used to look. So they're actually... Uh, they feel a little bit bigger. They may not be. But they have an open end. Perfectly centred, of course. And it says A.W. Faber Castell. And it has the number there. But these are just adorable. They're only tiny. So they fit in your hand. But they're so cute. So let's look at the pamphlet. And this shows you a bit of history um, over the years to do with the Fabric Estelles. So in 1908, the Fabric Estelle Polychromos was created. And this is how... The tin would have looked, but bigger, of course. And that's it there. And then in 1926, they came out with a different look. And 1937, again, another look. And in 2019, this little set was released. And so it means it was 111 years that these have been in production. A bit more now. So I actually got these for a bit of fun. So these were only $7.95. Which I thought was pretty cheap. And again, this is just a collector's set. My next set of pencils <laughs> are my Karen Diash coloured pencils. This is a huge mega holder here. <laughs> And these are the Caran Dash Luminance Coloured Pencils. Now, I know they come in the most beautiful boxes, but I didn't want to get them damaged. So, these pencils live in here. So, this is the full set of the Caran Dash Luminance Coloured Pencils. Now, I purchased these nearly two years ago. Um, I got these for a fraction of the price on Colt Pens. They had a huge sale on, plus I got 10% off and another 15% off with a voucher. So I got them for a fraction of the price. Then they released um, their portrait set. And I purchased that secondhand on eBay. And I know I didn't learn my lesson, but it was a good thing this time. I got the portrait set for $60 from... Uh, seller in Tasmania so I was really pleased and they'd barely been used so now I don't use these a lot as you will see because of the cost of replacing them now I do use these more for my artwork than in coloring books but I don't use them a ton because um, they are very light fast I really do like them but the fear of how expensive it would be to replace these now, um, I would not get the price that I got back when I purchased them. Because as I said, I paid a fraction, a quarter of what they are now for the full set. So I was very lucky. <laughs> so let's take a look at one. So they have this wooden barrel and it says permanent colour. And LFI, 
And then it says luminance 6901. And then here in white writing, it has your colour name as well as the number. And the end is dipped. Now, these are um, light fastness. Um, there is a chart, I believe, online where you can actually look all of that up. But these are really lovely artist pencils. So this is the first row. That's um, Some of these are portraits. I've put them in there in sort of like a colour thing here. Um, these ones. And then here. I've forgotten to undo one zipper. <laughs> no, no. So they are my luminance, Caran d'Ache luminance. They are a beautiful colour pencil and they are definitely one of my favourites. So let's take a look at the swatch chart here. So this is the full set. Now, of course, what I've done here is I've actually put a star of the portrait set and the extras. So I did have to purchase the extras separately as the um, seller only had the portrait set. But I really love the colour range. And they have quite a few pastel sort of colours in this set too. So that was the Caran d'Ache Luminance colour pencils. A lovely set of pencils. So the next set is the Caran d'Ache Pablos. Now this is not the full set. <laughs> I will say that in advance. Now I am collecting these slowly. I'm not sure if I really want to purchase any more. Um, I may like to get some more greens because I just feel the greens I have are lacking at the moment. But other than that, I really like these colored pencils. These are harder. But they're a nice pencil. Um, I've heard good things. And again, I haven't used these a huge ton. But they're a nice set of pencils. So, of course, it says Permanent Colour, Pablo, Caran d'Ache, Swiss Made. And it has this, the um, light fast rating here. Again, you can trust the light grass rating on this set of pencils. And it has the name and the number. So that's these here. And as I said, I've been purchasing these open stock over a year and a half. So this, so these are here. And then I got some of these. So let's take a look at the swatch chart of the Pablos. So this is a swatch chart. Now, I think that this is perfect for me. I wouldn't mind a couple of more greens. Um, but I'll wait until they're on sale again and um, get some more because they are pricey. Um, I'd like to actually try them out more on artwork than for colouring books. So um, just the cost of them. <laughs> but anyway, let's continue on. So this is my next set of pencils here. These are my whole beans. So I purchased these last year. Now, I did start out in 2021 with a small 12 set of pastels by Holbein. Now, I got those for $25. Um, how I got them for $25? <laughs> I actually went on eBay and purchased them direct from Japan. And I actually had a $50 off voucher. For anything on eBay, so I purchased the whole bands there um, for twenty-five dollars. So last year, I actually purchased these direct from Japan again, and no, they didn't cost fifty dollars, and I won't say how much they cost. Um, now, I have not. I used the pastel ones that I'd gotten in Johanna Basford's books, and I didn't really enjoy them on there. So I haven't really used these in colouring books. I like to actually do artwork with them. So let's take a look at the colours here. So they're all these beautiful colours. Um, they're a beautiful pencil. They're made up of fat as well as oil as and wax. 
So they are a bit more waxier or feel more waxier on the paper and extremely creamy. Um, they're just amazing. So, and then they've got all the natural colours here. There is 150 in this set, but in this case here, there will be extra of the pastels due to my small set being in here. Now the white is just beautiful. I love their white and the black. And then you've got the most sought after pastel ones, which are just beautiful. So I really enjoy these. There is fluoro here. But as I said, with my whole bands, I do prefer to use them um, for my artwork more so than being used in a colouring book. But that's my thing. Due to the price, I, you know, over here, they're that expensive to replace. Um, so these are the Holbein Artist Colour Pencils. They're made in Japan. And it says Holbein Works LTD. Then it has Indigo. Now it does have Light Fastness Rating here. They have their own Light Fast Rating. And then it has the pencil number. These are a dipped end, and as you see, one round here. But they are a really nice pencil. Now, as I said, on colouring book paper, I found them too oily, too waxy. I just didn't enjoy them. And when I went to actually use them on the Strathmore toned grey paper, it just opened my eyes to how nice these pencils are. So these... This here is the swatch chart of these colour pencils and this is 150 and as you can see the swatch chart I, I have yet to make my own <laughs> but here they are there. That's all the colours but this swatch chart comes with the pencils but they're a really nice set of pencils. Now, as I said, I do use these for my artwork and I've really enjoyed them. So this is some artwork I actually did with them. So that is my whole bones. And yes, my priciest pencils. And I know some people don't like them. And I know a lot of people love the pastels in this set, which the pastels are just beautiful. <laughs> there you go there. But... Um, there is other sets that have similar colours to that. My Artex colour pencils. Now I use these quite a lot. And this is the case here. So at the back here, I have the original 72. Now um, they have since come out with 126 set of colour pencils. Um, but this is the 72 here. And I use these quite a bit. And I did use them when they first came out quite a lot as well. So this is the 72 set. And um, a couple of the colours have been changed. Now this basically says Artex. And then colour pencil. It does have a colour name and a number. But in this light um, it's very hard to see. But they are dipped at the end. I personally have had never no breaks with them. But um, everyone's different. So we'll have a look at the original. Um, this is the original 72 set swatch chart. Um, they have changed shortbread. And I think it's one of the vermilion it could have been. And there's a new purple and ocean blue, I believe. Um, I can't remember now, but they have changed a couple of colours from the 72 set. So um, if you purchase a new set of the 72s, you'll get the new colours instead of shortbread, which I liked the shortbread colour. <laughs> so I've got this set. I do have a backup set that I've purchased myself. Um, of these which is the old backup set because I don't want to run out because I like them that much <laughs> and then they released last year 
Now, some of these are missing because I'm currently working on um, some things with them. But um, this here is the 126 set. Now, these pretty much the same. Again, two colours have been changed. But it goes from all your yellows. Then it goes to your blues, your greens. Going on greens more. Browns, which I'm using a lot at the moment. To your greys. And then up to here. Um, and fluoros, which... Here's the swatch chart of the Artex 126 set of pencils. And as you can see, they are well used. <laughs> like, look at my white. Um, I use them quite a lot. Um, they are not available open socks, sadly. But I do have a backup set. And um, my 126 back six set, backup set, was actually sent to me by Artex. So look how small that one is. <laughs> so I do use them a lot. Um, I use these in my artwork for fun as well in my coloring books. So yes, there's the swatch chart there. They're a um, wax based pencil and they're not bad at all. So that's those swatches. And I'll just put these aside so my next set of pencils, in this case, is my Black Widow colour pencils. So this is the full set of Black Widows. Um, these come in smaller sets. And I believe there is 180 pencils in the full set. So you cannot purchase the full set just in one tin. You have to purchase the little sets. And they... Um, release pencils quite often so this is my one of my biggest sets that i have they at first i will admit i did not like these pencils at all but this year i've really fallen in love with them especially on the maria troll coloring book my luna one i really love them in there so look at all these colors there's skin tones there's tons of greens like tons of greens blues and so many greens and browns and it's just a, a really nice set of pencils now because they come in smaller sets so if we have a look um of course it's got your name up uh, your number and it says skin tone because this is part of the skin tone set and snow and it has the dipped end and um the thing there but these are black so doesn't that make it unique? Um, but they're not a bad pencil at all. Now, you don't need to purchase the full set. I have, and I've put it in my own way how I have them set. So this is the first page of my swatch charts here. As you can see, there's tons of every colour there. Um, I love all the yellows and the oranges and it's a really nice well-rounded set of pencils and then this is the second side of the swatch charts here and I love all those greens and the browns um, it is I really enjoy them this year um, I'm glad I've given them a second chance and I'll keep enjoying them so they were the Black Widow colour pencils. Now the man behind these is an Aussie. So he helped to develop these colour pencils, which is fantastic. So let's move on. So the next set of pencils we're going to look at are my Posca pencils. So this is these here. These are a 36 set. So they come up here two here and I got these back in 2021 now these you're meant to be able to do it on multiple surfaces I have not tried other than paper and as you can see I have used these quite a bit so let's take a look at one really quickly and it says they're made by the Mitsubishi company they have a dipped end and the pencil number is at the end here um, and it says uni Posca pencil and 
the swatch chart to these is here. So these are, as I said, 36. So there's not a huge amount of colours here. I would love a few more different colours. And as you can see, I do use these quite a bit. Um, so that's the swatch chart here. And this is the actual, um, they're called pastels, but they don't feel like pastels, to be honest. But that's those there. And I'll just put the swatch chart aside. And the next set of pencils are the Bic Intensifier pencils. Now, these were purchased from my local store and they're rather nice. They are made by Bic. They have a dipped end. There is no name or numbers on them. But they are really nice on paper. I really like them. The biggest set they have is 24, which is a shame because they are a very nice pencil. Now, I have contacted Bic and I asked them if they were considering to of releasing uh, more colours and they said not at the moment. Now, this is their, part of their range, the Intensify range, I believe it is. And um, they have markers and brush pens and things like that as well. So let's have a look at the swatch chart. Now, they are wax-based pencil. I've done some artwork as well as colouring pages using them. And they're really nice to use. And I was able to buy, purchase these locally. So, of course, that made it even easier for me. So that's the colour range there. So they're a nice pencil. Um, budget, but they work really well. So the range is really nice there. So the next set of pencils we're going to look at are the Star Joy Gold. These are the gold editions. There is 120 set of pencils here. Now these were made in by Andy and in conjunction with Laurie Green from Colour My World. She is a fellow YouTuber. Now this set of pencil is made a little bit unique in the terms it's made for colorists. Now this would be perfect for beginners. But let's take a look at them. So, as you can see, it's in the tin. And up here, it does have the swatch chart of them. And it says Star Joy Gold. And then it comes with a swatch here. Which, that's the big swatch of them. It's for you to fill out yourself. It comes with foam on top. And then it comes with three trays. So these are how the pencils look. And this is tray one. This is tray two. And this is tray three. Now, we'll take a look at a couple here in a second. As these pencils are, as I said, made for colorists. Now, they're a bit unique in the sense, if we take a look at this one here, for instance, it says in big writing, SG Star Joy Gold. And then it has 3R. And then it says Vanity Pink. Now, why it's unique is every pencil is coded. So, for instance, you have, these are coded in the sense that these three colours here would go fantastic together. Now, so you have 1R, 2R, and then 3R. And this makes a blend. So, this set of pencils are really helpful for beginners if they would like to. They can't decide, or anyone who can't decide what colours to use. This pencil set is wonderful for that. Now, this swatch chart here is um, by Colour with Claire, and this is a fantastic swatch chart. And as you can see, this is the blend using the 1R, 2R, and 3R. Now, if I bring it up further, you can see that there. So, they have, of course, quite a few blends here. And then it has dual tones, 
muted pastels, skin tones, color correction. So basically, say the color's too red, you can add some green or misty morning to tone that down. You could use the light clay rose as a base for your colored pencils um, to make the skin pop more. And then it has greys. So this colored pencil set um, I wanted to try out and I'm glad I did. Now I did have some break issues, but um, and at this moment they are not available open stock. They are a bit pricey here in Australia. But um, this colour pencil, I, I did have quite a few breaks. But that's okay. Um, breaks do happen. <laughs> but I really do. I do like these colour pencils. And I do feel that these would be great for beginners. So that is the Star Joy Golds. Now the next ones are in the tins. Now these are the Brute Zeal expression series colored pencils these are made by royal talents now i won a 36 set of these back last year on instagram and i really enjoyed them so my husband got me the 72 set and they come in two trays and these came from england i had to purchase these from england but this is how they look here. Now, this is one tray. Whoops. And let's have a look at the pencil really quick, and then we'll have a look at the second tray. So, basically, they say Brunzeal Holland Expression Colours, and then they have the colour name here. The end is dipped, and it has a little emblem there. Now, these are a harder pencil, but they blend beautifully. I really like that wood finish with the colour dipped end here. Um, they're really nice. And this is the other tray here. And as you can see, I have used them quite a bit. I use them um, heavily on um, my Rita Berman land book, that page there. Um, so these are... A really nice set of pencils and I really do enjoy using them so let's have a look at the swatch chart and this is the swatch chart here not sure if you can see it. see all that so there is 72 in this set and as you can see the color range is really nice in that 72 I can't say that it's really missing any colors it has a pretty much nice even set of colors going there and they're definitely a pencil i really enjoy thank you so much for watching um it has been a long video i do apologize um if you got it this far well done to you so if you liked my video press like and subscribe and have a wonderful day bye